Hello friends. Today we are going to discuss experiment number seven. Title of experiment is case study on rapid prototyping system. In this experiment, we have to download one case study based on the rapid prototyping system. So there are different methods, but you have to study or you have to consider any one product for which rapid prototyping method is used for manufacturing of it. So today we will see the okay, what is the rapid prototyping process that we will study. So, so rapid prototyping. Rapid prototyping is a additive manufacturing process. So other for our conventional processes where we subtract the material from the raw material, but in rapid prototyping, we add the material layer by layer. So it is also called as additive manufacturing process. So rapid prototyping refers to class of techniques that can automatically construct physical models for computer aided data. The main advantage of the system is time and money savings, which we vary from 50 to 90% as compared to the conventional systems. So it is a nothing but additive process. In this layer by layer, the material is added and if we get the finished product. Basic process of rapid prototyping is as follows. First, we create a 3D model of the design using CAD softwares like Katia, Proe, etc. Then we convert that CAD model into STL format. Third step is slicing the STL file into the thin layers. And after that, we construct the model one layer on the another or you can say we add the material to construct the model layer by layer and the final process is cleaning and finishing the model so one by one we will okay, discuss in detail so CAD model creation it can be done using different CAD softwares then conversion to the STL format it is also called as a stereolithography format. STL file approximates the shape of part using triangular facets. Small facets produced a high quality surface. So second step is conversion of 3D model into STL format. Then support material is also required in some processes on which we add the material layer by layer. The next step, layer by layer construction. So this is the most important step in the rapid prototyping process where we actually add the material layer by layer. Okay. Material initial state can be liquid, solid or powder form. And last step is clean and finish. So in this, when 3D model is prepared or product is made, we remove the part from machine then detach if any support material is used then we use after cure if the photosensitive material is used to manufacture the part then we clean and do any surface treatment if required and we complete the painting if we are going to paint the object okay so these are the clean and finish steps so these are the main five steps in any rapid prototyping process Advantages of rapid prototyping are any shape or geometric feature can be produced, then the reduction in time and cost, 50 to 90% reduction in time and cost is achieved, then errors and flaws can be detected at an early stage. Then Rapid prototyping can be used in different industries and fields of life like medicine, art, architecture, etc. Material waste is reduced. 
assemblies can be made directly in one go okay. no tooling is required etc so rapid prototyping is a very important process that can be implemented to make the prototypes so in in this experiment we are going to we are going through a case study of rapid prototyping system in which any product is made using this process okay it may must involve all the steps okay that we have studied in the rapid prototyping process thank you